Hello. So I had a bunch of people ask me to do a video on how I converted my Jeep diesel Chinese heater to run off of an 18 volt Milwaukee battery. This is my first video that I've ever done. So please bear with me if I really mess this up, but we'll give it a shot and I'll explain to you how I did it. Okay, there's a couple things I have to explain about the diesel heaters in case you're not familiar with them. Uh, some things that had to be changed are obviously a battery connector of some type purchased off of Amazon. Whichever battery platform you have, Milwaukee, DeWalt, yada, 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 it'll all work. Uh, this relay I installed, this is a 24 volt to 12 volt converter. And under here is a computer chip that I put in, a little doodad thing that I will show you later on. This is kind of the magic box. What happens with these diesel heaters is when you're running them, you can put this unit on and stick an 18 volt battery into it, wire it into the 12 volt system. The 12 volt system will work, it seems, from what I've seen on the internet, what people are talking about. Best thing to do, 18 volt, run it through this, which now converts it down to 12 volt, now for the system. Connect that, that'll work fine. The problem with that is how these diesel heaters work is when you activate it or you start the unit, it does a bunch of self checks, then it lights the glow plug, runs that for a bit to heat it up, then it starts to inject the fuel, and then the system runs. When the system is running, the glow plug is not active, it's self sustaining. So your amperage of the amperage draw of the battery goes down, it continues running. When it's time to shut off, what happens is the fuel in, the fuel stops injecting from the pump, but then the unit turns the glow plug back on. That burns off everything that's left inside the combustion chamber and it lowers the fan speed and runs it till it comes cool. When it's completely cooled down, then it shuts itself off. Now, if you don't have a way of triggering that system, you're gonna have to manually go over and shut it down before your battery goes dead. Now, the problem with that is if you let your battery go too low, the battery itself will shut itself off. Now the system hasn't done a proper cool down procedure. Also, if the battery is too low, when it turns on the glow plug on the cool down sequence, it may not have enough amperage to sustain that. Now, it's not gonna affect it immediately. Over time, the system will basically choke up. So you need a way to have the unit self-trigger when the battery gets down. And I'll show you what I've done with that. Okay, so to explain what is going on is the battery here, which is 18 volts, nominal, that comes in, I have that wired down, goes all the way to the front to the 24 to 12 volt converter. So that reduces everything to 12 volts. Then the wire goes back and connects to the original 12 volt input on the heater. Then what I've done is I've tapped in on the 18 volt, the high voltage side, not the low voltage side, the high voltage side, and it comes down to this little electronic box here. As you can see, it's listing currently at 20.1 volts. That's what the battery is currently at. The left side is the power in. So that's the, the 20.1 volts that it's reading off of the battery. This is the output side. This goes up and can all the way up here to this relay. So what it's doing is it's supplying this relay with 20 volts. That's keeping the contacts for these two lines, the yellow and the blue one, together. Now what I have set on this unit is, if you press it here, at 17.1 volts, now that's adjustable. When this battery gets down to 17.1 volts, what it does is it stops supplying power to these two sides here, which in turn opens the contacts on the relay, which shuts the fuel pump off. When the fuel pump turns off, the furnace automatically goes into an error message. When it does that, it starts the cool down sequence automatically. So it slows the unit down, lights the glow plug, and does its clean off. Once it's all completed, it shuts completely off. Now, 
when I do that on the Milwaukee 18 volt batteries, if you check the LEDs on it, it sits at a single light LED. That's with this tripping at 17.1 volts. As soon as you disconnect the battery, put a new battery on, this automatically clicks back into place. Everything is back to normal. The error code disappears on the furnace. I hit start and off it goes again. And that's how it works. Now I checked, I did this conversion three years ago, January of 2022. So every winter I use this unit. It's been going for three years, completely flawless. I fire it up, I let it go, completely self-contained. As soon as the unit shuts down, I just walk over, pull the battery off, put a new battery on, hit the go button, lights itself back up and off it goes again. Worked absolutely flawless for three years. Okay, this little unit I just pulled up is called an XH-M609. It is a 12 volt to 36 volt battery low voltage disconnect protection module DC output. This was purchased on Amazon. I can show you over here, Amazon, for about $13 Canadian. The battery adapter, just a basic two wire output, 18 volt battery adapter, $17 Canadian. The DC converter, this is what takes 24 volts down to 12 volts. It's a 20 amp unit and it runs for about $35 Canadian. These are the relays. As you can see, it comes two pack for $21 Canadian. There are 40 amp, 28 volt, 28 volt DC heavy duty relays. And these are the plastic boxes. I put the little electronic doodad in. As you can see, $20, but yeah, get 10 of them. So you got lots of them that you can uh, make mistakes with. Yeah, well, that's the unit put back together. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below and I'll try and answer them for you. I'm also going to see if I can quickly draw up an electrical schematic to make it a little easier for you guys to figure it out. Thanks very much for watching.